So what you see here is the Sonic 1 uh, 2013 remake. So the Android version, well the improved Android version, sorry, running on the um, RG350M. But this will also work on the other GCW0 compatible clones. So yeah so all you need to do is basically take out the uh, assets file from the apk file and you just need to uh, change the file name to data.rsdk and then you just uh, point the opk to well to the file itself well i made it so you don't have to uh, to do just a bunch of stuff, you know, and as you can see, it boots, and I can delete saves. Uh, now the question is, because I tried it before, but it wasn't actually running quite smoothly. So let's see if uh, my magic made it work smoother and it seems so well it's maybe a touch slower yeah but i think this is a gpu bottleneck not a cpu one yeah that's unfortunate it's almost full speed but not quite But still, it still looks pretty nice, and it also supports. Uh, well, it doesn't. It seems to be slightly shifted to the right because of the aspect ratio thing, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But usually, Sonic is a bit a bit more on the left than on the right. Maybe he is like. A bit too perfectly centered, I don't know. But yeah, this is the uh, 2013 version running on the RG350 one. And you will be able to download an OPK in my GitLab repo. Uh, this won't be available for the Game Kitty uh, 350H because this uses SDL2 not SDL 1.2, which is, well, what I expect from this project, really. Uh, but it seems to entirely rely on the frame buffer, so it's possible that uh, that I might be able to port this to, say, S SDL 1.2. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, from what I see, it actually uses a software renderer. And, not, well, yeah, actually it has, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it doesn't seem to use OpenGL even. And I think the reason why they did this was to actually port the game to other consoles. And yeah, um, it says that the hardware renderer is not done. So that's pretty much Sorry, pretty much shit guys. So it runs okay but not uh, not at 60 FPS smooth. A bit, uh, shame unfortunately, but maybe that will be fixed with a... Uh, well, late, uh, well, maybe that will be fixed with better free drivers or whatever because as of, as of right now, SDL2 is quite buggy, but maybe it will run better if I switch it back to the previous version of SDL. We'll see. So, thank you and bye.